packages. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, surprise to my unboxing. That's all they sent me. They didn't send me the rest of my yarn. Hi all, how's everybody doing today? I hope it's a good day. Today is Tuesday, February 24th. I think it's the 24th. I really can't remember what day it is. I always lose a day uh, when I watch my granddaughter overnight. I don't know how. Yesterday, I thought yesterday was Sunday all day. And then I got a message from someone saying, are you going to do the unboxing? Did you get your stuff from Michael's that you didn't get last time? And I was like, huh, I got to go check the post office. And I was like, oh, I'll check it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. No, tomorrow, today is Tuesday. So when I got the message, I was like, well, I'll go check it tomorrow. It'll definitely be there by Tuesday. And guess what? It was now. I did not open this. So as far as I know, this is all I have coming from Michael's. So if everything's not in here and this is, uh, it'll be another big surprise. And then it'll be another one of those, I don't know what happened. Now, according to the girl I spoke with on um, Friday, was it Friday? Friday, Saturday. Saturday, I spoke with a girl at Michael's. Her name was Shannon. And thank you, Shannon, for being so super helpful. She said it all should be here. This should be the only uh, package that I have left coming. It was only two packages that they had tracking numbers for. So let's hope and pray, okay? I know I'm super excited and I actually looked up the um, email, you know, my order email to get the prices and this is not the price. Hold on guys, lost my page. Ugh. I might be editing that one out, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yep, I have the prices right here. No, I don't. Okay. Well, what did I do with the prices? Oh yeah, they're right there. <sighs> Don't get older, guys. You know, on the 8th, I'm going to be 50. And I think the brain is starting to go. A <laughs> uh, couple little things. Uh, first, guess what I got in the mail today? My Hirschner's little catalog. I love getting this thing, guys. I don't know about you, but look at here. We got on the back page, um, we have the Premier Everyday DK. I guess that's their new DK. The um, Everyday Colors or whatever they're called. Wait. Anti-pilling. Just says Premier Everyday DK. Hirschner's has them right now. It says 74 different colors. For $2.99 each. It's not too bad. That's a pretty good price. Um, it says regularly they're $3.99. I don't know what they're at at um, Premier.com. I didn't look. Um, but, you know, Premier has this. Oh, Premier has been having these flash sales, guys. I don't know if you get emails for them, but uh, I put it in my group. Um, I do have a group page. If you guys want to come and join... Um, it's like I did, I don't know. I did a thing where you had to answer some questions. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to all this stuff. So I just kind of put it out there and I put it up and I have a few members. So thank you guys who are members. I try to post in there at least a couple of times a week. I will try to get a little bit more regular. Um, I'm kind of bad with my Instagram and all my information for my Instagram account and my Facebook group is always in my description box in the drop down description box. I always have a link in there. Um, so if you want to come on over, it's not just solely for, Oh, only what Tammy talks about. This is for like, um, yarn hag, Ryan, uh, Neva with, uh, um, Manic Mama Creations, um, uh, The Crafting Trooper, we all are on it, and they put up their stuff that they're doing at the time. Tracy from um, Crochet Rosetti is in there, you know, like 
um, you post whatever you're working on, anything that you need help with, any questions that you have. If I see yarn sales, like if something comes up and I don't know if you guys have seen it, I'll post it in there to try to, because, you know, trying to get a, a film up and trying to get it edited or even if whatever, just trying to get it up on YouTube sometimes takes longer than the sale will be, oops, the sale will be almost over before you even get to it. So, um, like I said, I'll leave a link in my description box if you want to go there. I'd appreciate it, guys, if you want to become members. Um... Also, just a little secret. Now, I haven't really worked it up yet. Um, I think it should work. I designed a little pattern, and initially it's for an ear warmer. Um, I'm going to make it with a, a four-weight yarn to have it as like an ear warmer, and then I'm going to try it on a two-weight yarn to see how it looks as like um, maybe a springtime headband. You know, something that you can put in a little kid's head or, you know what I'm talking about, right? A little springtime headband. So I'm going to try in those two. Um, it'll take me a little bit because I have a few things going on right now that I have to complete. Um, probably within about two weeks, I'll have it done. And if it works up, keep your fingers crossed. If it works up, I will offer it for free. That's all I ask you to do is like email me and I will give you the pattern for free and then have you like, maybe you could post it in my group. That would be really awesome. I'd really appreciate it. So that's something that's in the works. I just wanted to kind of let you know. Um, but I was just looking through this and Hershner's has on sale these little kits for Afghans. Now I saw like Debbie with the Canadian Crutcheter and... Um, who else got, oh, Creative Grandma had gotten, Hershner sent them the, some of them got different kind of like Afghan pattern, Afghan kits, you know, that has all the yarn and the patterns and stuff like that. And they've been working them up and working on them. And uh, I see that they have, um, a. it's called the Garden Party Collection. And I guess it has this shawl the afghan i don't think this is all one i think like this kit is for the afghan this kit is for the shawl but anyway just you know just throwing out some information out there just to let you guys know about i like hershner's i like them a lot they're pretty good um i've never been disappointed with hershner's so that's that um i do have you remember i was working on the gloves and then i had to frog them back I still have to make one more, but I did complete this glove. I changed it up a little bit and I used a different pattern and I like it a lot, lot better. This is the glove tomorrow. I'll have the, I'll have the other one done tonight and it goes to, well, mittens, not gloves. And this is going to, um, a guy who works with my son, I guess his wife wanted some mittens. So I got this done. I used... Instead of a pattern, I went on YouTube and I found from um, a YouTube called Left in Knots, K-N-O-T-S, uh, How to Crochet Mittens for Beginners, right-handed version. I will leave a link in the description box below. Um, I used it just basically for a guide because I wasn't really sure. It starts at the top. You start with a magic ring and you start with 10 half double crochets inside the magic ring double it to 20 and then um uh you double it not double it but you bring it up to 30 by uh two half double crochets and then half double crochet two half double crochets double crochet and then after that you just work on it for a series of i don't know all i don't know how many rows i think it's like a total of 15 or 16 rounds before you get to the thumb opening and then um the way she works it she works it at the very end where you're basically just bringing it in right here here you do some decreases you have three two or three rows of decreases and then she just does um three or four rounds of just the half double crochets which it's fine that way i just wanted to make it like a little ribbing so i did two front posts two back posts two front posts two back posts and i've done six rounds of that on here 
And I did, of course, some, you know, color changing because they wanted red and black. Her favorite colors were red and black. And I thought it came up a lot cuter than the last one that I had worked and then frogged it back. And um, I went exactly the way she wrote it, thumb and all, and it fits wonderfully. Um, so that's that. I got to finish the other one after I'm done here. And then they will be gone. So that's why I want to show it. They will be gone tomorrow morning or tonight. I'll be giving it to my son to bring to the guy tomorrow. They're worked up in... Yarn B Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fibers. The one color was red and the other one was black sparkle. So that's what I did it with. I liked the low pill because it didn't get real fuzzy. It's nice and soft. I like them. I think they're great. I hope they'll, they'll like them. Um, don't you hate when you're doing um, like a commission job and you're never 100% sure if they're going to like it? Yeah, that's where I'm at. I hate that. Like, when I give it a gift, if you don't like it, you don't like it. No big deal. But when you're actually getting paid to do something, you're just like, oh, my God, is it everything perfect? I hope they like it. You don't want it. You don't want them going, oh, I'll never use her again, or I won't recommend her. Because, of course, you know, you'd like to get recommended and everything. Okay, on with the chlorophyll. Please, Tammy, shush. All right, we got the Michaels bag right here. I won't keep you in suspense any longer. I have not opened it. I'm going to use scissors because it's got that sticky, and it's really tough to open. And I wanted to open it so bad, even the guy at the post office was like, well, why don't you open it? Because he was like, didn't you get your order? And I said, yeah, not everything was in that order. And he goes, well, open it and see if everything's there. I said, ah, I'm doing it on YouTube and I try to make it a surprise. So let's see. I can't. Let's see. Can you see it? Because actually, I... no, nope, you won't be able to see that. So can you see that? All right. I won't do that for too long because I have no idea if you can see it. Ooh, purdy, 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 purdy. Let me pull all these out right quick. Oh, the pictures do not do this justice. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. So pretty. This is called Meandering Serpentine. There is 243 yards, 3.5 ounces, 220 meters, or 100 grams. There, this color is called purple peach and what's the fibers in it? What is it made out of? Hold on. Let me see if I can find, oh, is it inside? Yeah. Inside. This is all that's on the outside. Sorry. The neighbor's dogs are going to bark. Why? Because I'm filming. <laughs> so I have to pull this open because everything's on the inside lovely i don't know why the neighbors hate me so much i have no clue i have been in this house for almost 19 years and i've had five different neighbors in the 19 years that i've lived here and every single one of them has had barking dogs not just dogs that bark on occasion barking dogs and they never help them you know hey come on guys stop barking nope they just let them bark bark the one was barking at 4.30 in the morning the other day. Yeah, 4.30 in the morning, listening to... I'm like, oh, please, please hush your dog up. All right, sh 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 sorry. Uh, this is made... This is 90% acrylic and 10% nylon. It's a four medium weight. Recommending a 5.5 millimeter eye hook or a US 7 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. It's machine wash cold, tumble dry low on the gentle cycle. Do not iron. And it feels lovely. I'm hoping these colors are coming up really well. I think they are. This is really pretty. Can you see that? What was this called? Um, sorry. Purple peach. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. These were on deep clearance for two dollars and 97 cents each let me see this is also purple peach i got two skeins of each one of these colors that i'm about to show you purple peach 
I don't know if they still have them. Now, it's getting a little bit blown out. They're a little bit richer. Like, that looks a little bit more uh, pale colored, if that makes sense. Uh, in real life, they're a little bit more vibrant. Really, really pretty. I'm trying to find a good spot where it might look maybe kind of like that not too bad anyway and then i got two of these and this color is called purple cream yeah that's blowing out real bad that looks almost on screen here i'm looking it looks like almost like a gray white purple i'm trying to find a good spot for it guys this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful and I'm trying to find a good place for it. Maybe right here. It's not too bad right there. Very pretty. This is more of all purple. Like a pearlescent lilac is what I would call that. Pearlescent lilac. And then I got two of these just called pink. Pink rose. Pink or pink rose. Uh, I'm not sure. Now that's blown out too. I'll bring it back here a little. This is very, it's got very light pink, pearlescent pale pink with hues of like a beige color in it, right? Can you see the beige colors in it right there? Oh, oh. It came up for like a second and then it blew out again. So I'm going to try to hold it real still and maybe it'll focus. So I think the reason I bought these, well, I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm on the fence about it, but there is a shawl called the lost in time shawl. And a lot of people have done it. And I believe these colors mixed will look really, really gorgeous in that shawl and it's nice and squishy and it's and it, I like it because not only is it squishy kind of has that same feeling of having like a merino blend um, it's easy care with it being 90 acrylic and 10 uh, nylon wash and dry BAM you're done so I Got six skeins of that, two of each color. And when I went on, I believe those were the only three colors that were still available. There were a few more, but bam, they were gone like that. And then I got, and I thought I got two of these. <sighs> Let me see something. Oh no, it says one. Okay. Why did my, my email said two. And I kept going, I thought I just got one, but my email said that I bought two. I don't know. I don't know. But on the little invoice, it says one. So I'll have to see if they charge me for just one. I bought the ice cream yarn. This was on sale for $3.97. And now, I'll be honest with you. When I bought this... Oops, it's upside down. And this is my mistake. Um, possibly my mistake. Possibly the website mistake. I'm not 100% sure. I could have sworn when I purchased this, this was the big thing of ice cream yarn. Like the one that has like a thousand plus yards of, of it. And this is actually the 394 yard 3.5 ounce skein. And it was $3.97, so I don't know. I'll have to look it up, and I'll, I'll let you know next time I talk to you guys if I got a deal on this. This may not have been a good deal. This may have been human error in my thinking, thinking this was the big one for $3.97, thinking, oh, you know, I'm getting the huge one. That's like having, you know, almost... I think it's like having like three of these darn near. And I was like, ooh, three ninety seven, dollars But it is just the small, the ones like you can get at um, Walmart. So I'll have to look and see if I made a big boo-boo or not. And if I did, my bad. Anyway, ice cream yarn by Lion Brand. 3.5 ounce, 100 gram ball, 394 yards or 360 meters. 
it's 100% acrylic. It is machine washable and dryable. It is a lightweight three requiring size five, 3.75 millimeter knitting needles or an H um, five millimeter crochet hook. So like I said, machine washable, machine dryable. Let me see if it says where it's made. Sorry guys. The color on this is called birthday cake and it is made in Turkey. And I like ice cream yarn. Um, this one worked up really cute. And when I saw this worked up, this birthday cake, I want, my daughter says that I have to make another, um, I have to make another cardigan for my granddaughter who outgrew that other cardigan that I made this last year. Cause she, you know, at that age they grow like that. So, um, what I'm probably going to do is I think this being a nice lightweight, I might make her a little dress out of this, see how it works up, see how it fits her, see how it looks. And then if I like it, I'll get another one or two of these. Um, maybe I can find it on sale somewhere else. And if I like the way it works up, I'll make her her next year's sweater out of this. Um, and that was it. That was the rest of my order, guys. So uh, this is a little over 20 minutes long. I'll try to edit out some of the does that I had in here. You know me. Um, can we say just a couple little things? Happy birthday, Chevy. Her birthday is the 24th. She's a Pisces sister like me, just like uh, Neva, who is what March 6th, I believe. Yeah, uh, a bunch of Pisces around here. Um, though I have a little bit of sad news. I don't know if you guys watch her podcast, the Chevy Rail podcast, Chevy Rail stuff. Um, she just put one up today. And her dog, her little dog, Olive, um, passed on this last week. And um, uh, it's sad. And I cried because, I don't know, I don't, you know, you got dogs or animals. You don't want your animals to leave you, you know. And we kind of all know that's inevitable unless we're 100 years old and our dogs are puppies, you know. So, um, so... If y'all know her, kind of give her a little bit of love. She says on her podcast, she doesn't want to be like, you know, Olive wouldn't want everybody to be all sad and, you know, just down. So try to be happy, you know, afterwards. I tried to make it like, you know, when I, when I put my comment in, I, I told her that, you know, it was tough, feel bad type thing, but you know, everything was wonderful, you know. Lover, all that stuff. I, I get tongue-tied. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I know. Twisted stitches, not knowing what to say. But sometimes I don't know what to say in those situations. Um, and my heart breaks for her and Dan um, and their puppy. Because you know how it is when you have a couple of dogs. Sometimes when one goes away, um, the other one gets heartbroken. And it takes a little bit for them to not be so heartbroken. So... If y'all know her, if you're subscribed to her, go show her a little bit of love. Um, I'm sure she could use it. And then tell her happy birthday. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Um, shout outs. I'm not like one of those people that like do shout outs because I feel bad. Um, like if I shout out five or ten people... I feel bad that I didn't shout out the other 20 or 30 or 40. So here goes. This is going to sound really weird. But to every single one of my people that I watch, and I have almost 300 channels that are on my YouTube in my, that I'm subscribed to, and I really do try to watch. I mean, sometimes it's a week later. Sometimes it's right away. I try to keep up as much as I can. Um, and then sometimes I barely comment or sometimes I just like, uh, depending on what you guys are doing. Sometimes I'll just put, you know, love you or something like that. Um, uh, I shout you all out. You know, you all deserve the best. Every single one of you, every single person that's out there putting their hearts out there, putting their lives up here, trying real hard, plugging away. 
deserves all the best. That's all I can say. And everybody who's shouted me out, thank you so very much. I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. Like you would not believe. I really do. And um, thank you all of my subscribers. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. Thank you. So why am I back on after I said my goodbyes? Because I'm asking all you guys, what should I do with my hair? Should I just color it, go darker, um, go and get some real purple that's going to stick for a while instead of that washing stuff that only hung around for about maybe two weeks? Because I don't want to do that again because that was a mess. Um, or should I go back to like my highlights and then put some highlights in and then whatever grays are there will maybe blend into my highlights a little bit? I don't know. So, um, I don't look good as a redhead. I can't, I can't pull it off because of my skin coloration. I look really like really weird washed out in red and not too dark either, but, uh, leave me some suggestions. I'd appreciate it. Um, leave me some really good suggestions. Um, cause I don't know what to do with this mess. Look at it. Look, can you see that? I know you can see that. To me, it's driving me crazy. Did it even show up? Can you see that? Look at that. That's some crazy stuff right there. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. It's almost my birthday. So you know how it is. You get to getting ready to turn another year older and you're like, nope, not ready for this yet. So uh, give me some suggestions, guys. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye.